Today we'll be talking about um, a catchment area, uh, what it is and how, um, why is it so important, uh, uh, why is it so, such an important terminology that we use in hydrology and water management and water resources uh, uh, subjects. And yeah, um, it's also particularly important uh, when we're trying to analyze um, where the floods are coming from and uh, how can we prepare for all of those. So. Uh, catchment areas are generally quite an important topic and uh, they are very important to find out um, so we can analyze the amount of water we'll be having downstreams uh, but we'll get back to that uh, later on in in the same video now uh, let's focus on um, the, the the topic itself and and yeah so consider this as a piece of land uh, yeah Consider this whole area as a piece of land where we have like some trees uh, uh, and and yeah and some grass and generally like you can have some buildings etc over here as well um, and so yeah so then we move on to our catchment areas actually catchment area is such an area which catches uh, water from from different sources it could be glaciers or it could be just like um, rain falling um, down from clouds uh, but like generally uh, actually it can fall on any surface but generally our main catchment areas are are the hills and mountains that can really contribute uh, towards the downstream flow of uh, this water that it is catching like generally um you can say that everywhere the rain water falls it's 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 a catchment because you're basically catching the water but in scientific terms we usually refer to catchment areas where uh, where the the water falls at a relatively higher elevation and which can contribute to its uh, downstream flows like into canals or rivers or you see like those kinds of things and so they contribute majorly to the flow of water rather like but if you have like a if you consider a catchment of, of your home or for, of your lawn like that is quite um, that does flow downstream like into into grounds or surface water but it's not like um, it's not contributing significantly whereas if you consider like a hilly area uh, as a catchment area you can see um, because of its elevation if you catch water here if the water rain falls over here it will flow directly um, downwards and if you have like some buildings or, or some grasslands they will absorb some water but most of the water will also uh, follow the gradient line and will just smoothly fall over to until it reaches uh, you know a final point like a uh, here you can have a river or or, or yeah or a large open space or something like that generally what happens also is that the water that follows this path gets also absorbed by the the surface and from from the surface it goes directly downstream uh, is absorbed by the ground actually and the ground and it turns into like groundwater or surface water directly from from that path onwards and this same water is also actually absorbed by the trees and the trees in the form of um, evapotranspiration then release it back to the atmosphere and which in turn like um, turns into clouds and water vapors and and you see um, we have more rains as a result of that too so so this was about catchment areas from catchment areas we collect water the water runs downstream into river basins and basically we if we have like the basins at higher elevation we can construct a dam over it we can we can have like we can do much more stuff with it and we can like provide um, we can create some artificial uh, canals from those basins to have to irrigate our waterlands to irrigate uh, to irrigate our crops and and produce more uh, to have more uh, suitable farmlands where we can grow a lot of fruits and vegetables so 
and yeah so also from the ground surface the the like if you have grassy lands they can also absorb some of the water and can also evaporate the water which in turn goes on to like our rain cycle and the water will sometime again fall back onto the earth and some of it will go back on the onto the ground surface whereas some of it will pass on to the river basins and so what happens is when you have like sometimes in during the monsoon seasons you have a lot of rainfall and the water just doesn't have any time for um, to get absorbed by these trees these other things that they that are in the middle of it so all of it just rushes down towards its down uh, bottom most end and so we have floods like there's a huge um, rush of water coming into our basin and the basin is not so large enough to control to assimilate all of that water into itself so that basin just automatically runs off uh, towards our towns and it just it can flood even cities if it's not controlled for longer distances so um, this is what makes this analyzation of catchments so important if we could analyze where our uh, basic catchment areas are how much of rainfall do we usually expect and if we have c contingency plans according to those uh, rainfall estimates we can like clearly save our cities and we can build like uh, we can also build structures downstream that can control this extreme rush of water from affecting our um, what you can say our main urban areas or main um, facilities so yeah that was all about uh, catchment area in this for, in this video hopefully I'll, I'll definitely make more videos uh, and share more information about hydrology and and how this rainfall system actually works